And but one of the things that the teachers always complain about is Sandra talks too much. And I know that you have heard this before from a lot of speakers. Well, that's the reason why they are speakers. That's the reason why they are coaches, because they are living their purpose. They understand, they were able to identify that all these complaints that people were having about them, <laughs> they are not complaints. They are actually part of the God-given gift that each one of those speakers and coaches and presenters have, and they enjoy what they do. That's the reason why I'm sharing that with you, because it is the same for me. I have always been talking a lot. People have complained in the past that I talk too much. And guess what? Those same people that have complained about me talking too much are the same people that call me to ask for my advice because they understand that I'm going to be bold, direct, and I am going to be loving and caring and compassionate, but with the truth. I am going to help them be able to create steps to achieve their goals, but little steps that are going to help them to live purposely. Not about what the world thinks that success is to you, but how you define success for yourself. For many years in the past, I define success like everybody else have told me that success should be. But I was not happy. I search and search and search and search and I fight hard and I gave my best and I even got breakdowns at some point in my life. Sometimes I got myself so sick because I did not feel that I have achieved my goals. After I have claimed many victories, I have fallen into the darkness and I have been lifted up into the light, but still was not able to feel accomplished. And you know what? It is time to stop defining what people believe that is success for yourself and start defining what you believe that success is for you. And when I'm talking about success, I am talking about living a life filled with purpose. What is purpose? Purpose is your why. Purpose is your reason for doing things, your inspiration, your motivation, your vision, why you are on this earth. And yes, I do believe in God and I believe that God put me on this earth with a purpose. Exactly like my name says, protector of men. My name, Sandra, means protector of men or defender of men. All my life I've been doing that. And I sometimes I try not to care, but I care too much. And that, there's nothing wrong with that. What is your purpose? What are you here for? What are the steps that you are taking in order to live your purpose? What define you? It's not your job, it's not the money that you have in your account, it's not your kids, and it's not how many cars you can drive, fancy cars, and how many um, vacations you can take. That is not the purpose. It can be some activity in your purpose, but it's not your purpose. And that's the reason why I'm offering you to connect with me so that I can help you identify your purpose. Let, let's make it clear. No, 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 no. Don't get me in trouble. I don't know everything, but I do know that you have the answer. And my job is to help you pull, 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 identify, and find your own answers. That is my job. I don't know everything. <laughs> Many years ago, I used to think that I do know everything and God showed me otherwise. So my job right now is to help you identify your intentions because poor intentions are keeping you from living your purpose. Poor intentions are keeping you from taking actions and without actions there's no change. And I am not saying that we are going to be like creating these amazing goals that lead to no action. We are going to take small little steps that we believe that are meaningful. And those steps, they're going to come with accountability so that you can live your purpose. And let me tell you something else. 
when you are living your purpose, it doesn't mean that life is going to be perfect. Living your purpose means that you are going to persevere at whatever the cost. Yes, sometimes there are going to be challenging days. Sometimes you're going to feel like doing nothing. Sometimes negative thoughts are going to come into your head. Sometimes people are going to take you off. Sometimes things that are not going to come the way that you want. Obstacles are going to be presented and even your health might be at risk. But when you live with purpose, you remember what is your focus? What is your vision? What is driving you? The why? And then you can do the how and the what. But my goal Sandra Grave's goal, Sandra Grave's passion, desire is to help you identify your purpose, put together a plan of actions that are based on steps, small little tasks that you need to do in order for you to wake up every day and feel, I am ready to tackle my purpose. I am ready to live purposely. I am ready to give it my best because let me tell you that when you give it your best when you do your best when you believe and you give your best God will take you off the rest